Jacksonville. Hopefully you can hear me. It's really loud. But Scout is throwing some pennies in the water. Oh, it just got quiet and I was yelling. She's throwing pennies in the water, making wishes. Woo! And the choo-choo train is going. We might ride on that, huh? Yeah, wave. There it goes. So Scout and I came over here for breakfast this morning and I was able to meet with my old boss, Tammy. And it was so, so good to catch up with her and see her. Um, so she just left and then Josh's aunt is gonna meet us over here and maybe we'll do lunch. And then I am off to Josh's grandma's house to kind of like go through some of the stuff that we left here. So that's what's on the agenda for the day. But Josh's aunt did want to take Scout on the choo-choo train, so we might do that. It's quiet. It got quiet? Yeah. yeah. They're going to come back. Oh. And Tammy completely spoiled Scout, took her into Crazy 8, and let her pick out a couple things. It was so nice. That was a good throw. Okay, you guys, it is time to get real. Holy moly. Um, I just spent the past, I don't know, two or three hours up in Josh's grandma's master bedroom where we lived for, how long were we there? Five, six months. Um, towards the end of last year, beginning of this year. Um, and basically to fill you in if you are confused or new to the vlogs, Josh and I lived up north for about five to six months to, um, we were, we were looking for work up here for him and things basically just didn't work out. A job opened in San Diego, we moved back down, but all of our stuff has stayed up here in Northern California. So. Um, today I was just dealing with all of that and it was extremely overwhelming for me. Um, I had like a major meltdown, cried a lot. Um, I don't want to cry again. Um, basically the past two years have been really, really hard. Ever since we left Hawaii, um, or I should say when we left Hawaii, we didn't really have a plan. And we just kind of jumped into it and we were like, we'll move back to California and everything will be great and everything will just work. And we're extremely thankful to family that, um, you know, we've never been homeless, we've never had to worry about a place to stay. Um, but we just have stuff everywhere and it's very overwhelming. Um, we have a lot of stuff that's still at his grandma's house. We have a lot of stuff at his aunt's house in her garage. Um, we have some things down in San Diego. So it's just, I feel very scattered. The past two years have just been very, very unsettled. And um, luckily Scout hasn't, I hope she hasn't felt any of that. And I don't think she has. Um, but it's just been really, really hard and we're, very ready to just move on to the next step in life and be in our own place and have our stuff. Um, so anyways, this car, my sister's car, is literally full. Um, I'm bringing as much stuff as I can. Everything else that is left is pretty much like in a corner so at least when we come and we can pack up our stuff like it'll be kind of all together. So anyways, sorry for the tears. Real life behind the camera is that there are just a lot of things that are frustrating and that are really hard. Um, things that you guys probably will never even know, but um, yeah, we're just really, really ready. And of course the camera ran out of storage, so it shut off. <laughs> oh, story of my life. I don't delete old clips so it gets full. Anyways, thank you guys for listening to me rant. I'm sorry for crying, but I just need to be real with you that it's been really, really, really hard and it's been a very long two years. So we're just ready to 
just be done with it and move on and I know good things are to come I'm hopeful it's not like I'm discouraged I mean I'm hopeful that things are gonna be good I think that 2017 holy freaking moly better be like the best year ever <laughs> it will be you know um, to be honest like we've been looking at places and it's been a little discouraging um, trying to find a two-bedroom place that we can afford and I just told Josh today like I am just so I'm so ready to be like done living with other family members that like I don't even care if we move into a one-bedroom apartment I don't even care anymore like I would rather be in a one-bedroom apartment on our own than than to continue what we've been doing so anyways keep us in your prayers please but we're hopeful so anyways that's just a little peek into behind the scenes what has been going on take a look at this car uh, we've got clothes and more clothes and that's where Scout's car seat has to go. And more clothes and this Ikea cart. So when I get back to San Diego, Josh and I are probably gonna spend an entire day going through every article of clothing that we own and we are probably gonna donate the majority of it because this is ridiculous. Like we do not even wear this stuff, so why do we have it? All right, I am going to Josh's aunt's house. She has Scout and her girls, so they're probably playing, having a grand old time. So let's go. Man, you know what <laughs> Scout, are you having fun? Whoa. <laughs> oh yeah, show me your little hula hoop. That's so cute. All right, you guys. Well, sorry for the lack of no transition. But I have left Josh's aunt's house, and now I have met up with my dad, my sister, my brother, my uncle, and Scout and I are here for a Sac Republic game. We've got our tickets, we're about to go sit down, and I'm super excited. So we're here in Sacramento, and then tonight we go home, pack up the car for our trip back down to San Diego tomorrow. So that's what's going on tonight.
to say for yourself? What do you have to say for yourself? What do you want to say to the camera? Hi. Say good night, guys. Good night, guys. Good night, you guys. I look like a mess. Scout has crazy hair. You got crazy hair. It is probably almost one o'clock in the morning because that's how we roll. And the car is semi-loaded for our trip back down to San Diego tomorrow. <sighs> There's a lot of stuff, you guys. A lot of stuff. My sister is moving all of her stuff down for college. Then I have everything that I got from up here. So yeah, yeah, over there. There's stuff everywhere. Um, I know. So my and milk. Your milk glasses. Oh my gosh, glasses. We just got too much stuff. Pillows. Pillows. Thank you. <laughs> You're so funny. Toys. Toys. Oh my gosh, you can't forget the toys. Um, I just wanted to wrap up this video. Uh -oh. I feel like it was kind yeah. of like an emotional roller coaster. Uh -oh, that I wear. There is stuff everywhere, I know. Um, so anyways, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. And thank you guys for just yeah. sticking around for the past two years. Because it's just, I don't know. It's been a rough two years, but we the have apple, managed to keep on milk. picking up the camera. There's the apple milk. That's not apple milk. Apple milk. Chocolate milk. Apple milk. Oh my gosh. Um, but somehow we have managed to keep picking up the camera, and I'm glad that we have. Is so, it chocolate milk? Yes. So thank you guys for sticking with us. This Thanks for going along this journey. Why? I'm going to go ahead and say goodnight so we can drive back to San Diego tomorrow. Are you ready? Goodnight. Goodnight, you guys. We'll see you in our next video. Goodnight. Bye. Bye.